Hi guys! Um, I am going to go over our spelling words this week. Hopefully you've been practicing them in Spelling City. We are working on compound words and we've done that already a few weeks ago. We did our rainbow craft where you guys were able to actually use some of these compound words to make um, your craft. So we have our list here and in our list our compound words are two words that come together to make a new word. So I have back, pack, two words. Back is a word on its own, pack is a word on its own, and it can be used like pack your suitcase, or my back hurts, or turn to the back of your paper. We also have base, ball, and it splits right here between base and ball. Flashlight, flash and light, lunchbox, lunch and box, inside, in and side, outside, out and side, the opposite of inside, herself, herself, bluebird, bluebird, suitcase, suitcase, and brainstorm, brainstorm. You can probably think of other words like rainbow or basketball. Um, <clears throat> we thought of a lot of them when we did our craft, so I think you guys will be familiar with them. But what we didn't practice so much was spelling these words. So that's why those activities in Spelling City are a great exercise. You can also just use a pencil and paper to continue to practice spelling these words. Use them in a sentence, the same things that we do in class. Now you might notice that on Bluebird and Suitcase, I have some purple letters here. And those purple letters are part of our spelling pattern for this week, U-E and U-I. U-E and U-I both say ooh. So I have U-E, U-I, let's see if I can, U-E, U-I, and E-W. They all say ooh, the long U sound. Remember long U is a little bit funny. The other long vowels say their name, A-E-I-O-U. U also says its name, but it can also say ooh like O-O, -O, right? Like smooth. Or it says ooh like in rude, okay? So when we hear that long U, there are two different sounds it can make. Um, rude, ooh, or it says its name like in cute, okay? So this long U sound is the ooh sound, like in rude, but we spell it U-E, U-I, or E-W. Some examples are words like blue, like in bluebird. We also have glue, okay? We also have words with U-I that say ooh, like suit. Maybe you wear your dad or you wear a suit, maybe to church. We also have fruit. And if you say these words, it always says ooh. Then we have EW like grew. I grew five inches. Or blue. She blew out the candles. Okay, so a lot of you guys have seen these words before. They're a little bit tricky to spell. Right? So that's why we're practicing them. I will have some stuff in Seesaw for you to continue practicing um, so that you guys can continue to have lots and lots and lots of words and see lots and lots and lots of words so that when you hear those words later on, you will be able to spell them. I will also look for some videos maybe on YouTube that might help you because I know um, there's sometimes some really helpful stuff on YouTube. But blue is one of our, um, part of one of our spelling words, bluebird, right? We also have, let's see, what other words? Clue. We needed a clue to solve the puzzle, right? We also have juice. We hear the oo and then a soft C in juice. Drew. I drew a picture for my mom. Flew. Um, let's see, true. Now, you are hearing the same sound, but 
they are all under different types of letters, like crews. So, one thing you will notice is that UE can come in the end of the word. UI comes in the middle. And EW comes at the end as well. Now, this might not always be true. You'll find some words that don't follow the rule, and that's okay. That's why we're going to practice so much so that we can remember what the words look like so that when we're spelling it correctly, we know it's correct because it looks correct. Um, it's kind of like our sight words. Oh, I have another one. New. That's a word that you guys lose a lot. So that's why we're going to keep practicing these words. You're going to read them in your decodable. If you want to go back to your decodable book, you can read more of those there. And then I will have some extra practice for you in Seesaw. You can also write these words in a list just like I did on paper. Use them in a sentence. Anything that you can do to memorize them because they are going to sound the same, but they're not going to be spelled the same. And so that's when we have to kind of use our memory to make sure that we are spelling it correctly, even though it's going to sound the same, um, whether we use U-E, U-I, or E-W. They all make that ooh sound. So I know that if I spell suit, S-E-W-T, that's not going to be right. That doesn't look so, so good. Or if I spell clue, C-L-U-I, uh-oh. That's not good. So I know because my brain has memorized these spelling rules. Okay, so as long as you know that these sounds are the ooh sound, that is a great start. And if you can remember how to spell these words, that's even greater. As long as you are practicing and working hard, that's all we can do. All right? So U-E, U-I, E-W, I'll say ooh. Just remember that this week. Thanks, guys.